Welcome everyone to a Saturday night edition of Squad One Life Events. I am Wilbur tonight. I'm joined with Ethel. Ethel, say hello. Yeah, so we got uh, Operation Power Play Part 8. Accordingly, the uh, Claw is still not happy with Militia's uh, operations within Manic 5, which is the map we will be playing tonight. Let me post the op doc for you so that uh, you can follow along and what we are, myself and Aethel, are talking about. So we don't have an op map, so I'm actually going to bring you into the game so you can see the compound at Hotel 13, where the operation is actually going to be getting. And so you know where on the map that is. It's way, 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 way down here on the southern map border. Almost the map border pretty uh pretty far down there i mean <laughs> that sucks for uh half horses but uh commands for tonight we'll start off on the canadian side we're gonna have rose dragon seven in command following out the rest of the sls will be crispy uh and then wolfgang adikin sven and fulcrum leading out the rest of the sls i'm sorry ethel I haven't done a co-commentary in so long that I had you <laughs> muted. That's entirely fine. So uh, say hello again so that people know that you're here and give me what's going on command side for Militia. Right, so Militia is getting uh, set up. I'm getting command comms right now. And as you said, the distance between uh, CAF's starting points and the destination means I'm pretty sure Ro is going to use that to his advantage. See if he can just whittle down those Canadian forces as they near the objective, and the objective itself is quite literally a fortress. Right, so yeah, and, and Lawn Darts will be in the command for the Militia's side, and his 2IC is going to be Revy, followed out by Oddball, Karma Cut, Mango Fett, and Phil Nye. Loadouts for tonight, going over Canada first. They'll be getting one SL, two FTL, who are going to be riflemen since we're on a vanilla later, and then one Medic. And then they're going to get an engineer squad. That engineer squad is going to be made up of one SL, two FTLs, two engineers, and one medic. And then across the entire platoon, they'll split up eight ARs, eight LATs, two HATs, two MGs, three medics, and crewmen as needed. I'm not seeing vehicles for that, but okay. We're getting one trans truck and three Logi trucks of 500 ammo and 2,000 build. No fob and logistics and no command support. How about militia? What does their loadouts look like? So yeah, comparatively quite anemic. So simply an SL, two FTLs who have the benefit of having uh, smoke launchers to mark positions, grenade launchers, um, and then two ARs, and that's it. They don't even get a medic. Ooh, no medic. Not good. Uh, when I first saw that, I thought maybe, okay, well, they're not getting a medic because uh, they're going to have a wave respawn, but they're not getting a wave respawn. I think it's the nature of the terrain. Not yeah. only is it a long distance to cross, it's literally an uphill battle. And I'm quite sure Landorts will use the advantageous terrain to consistently engage his forces, pull back, and then make sure they're exhausted once they actually reach the objective. Oh, yeah. That is a, that's a good point. Good reason to do it. Um, so going over some objectives in Intel... So the Canadian forces have to take over Hotel 13. There's a base there. They have to destroy the two Zeus that the militia set up. Uh, they got to destroy them with the Engineers C4. If there's no Engineers left, by the time they get up to that point, they're going to have to defend those two positions from the militia forces. Uh, if they do actually do get to the destroy, they're going to be able to exfil. And those three exfils are Julia 12-9... Golf 11, 9, or Fox 13, 7. Once they get the command to exfil and they start exfilling, there's going to be a point, if they get about 300 meters or more away from the militia side, they're just going to call GG. But they definitely either have to destroy them or defend them to uh, basically get a GG. Yep, it's going to be a challenge. I don't see any other way than progressing carefully southwards 
if they even want to send a squad outside of the formation, it's going to be very dangerous. They're going to have to stick together and reach the point together. Even protect those engineers. I don't think they can even secure the objective with those engineers. Yeah, they're definitely going to have to protect those engineers. I think that's going to be the. Uh, I think that's going to be the plan tonight, to uh, protect the engineers. And it looks like Canada's giving their brief inside of the tunnel. Oh, Rose came in hot. Almost took out Wolfgang. <laughs> <laughs> all righty guys yeah with this um, let's see here this plane on the map border how are you do you think this is going to be a, a full north to south push or do you think rose is gonna try to envelop them from all sides he has a lot of options he can either cross west quite literally send his old platoon west and move southwards and completely avoid the threat that uh, the river poses to the northeast because I don't think the militia has time to set up and watch those bridges, but they do have time to deploy and use those heights and those embankments and funnel his forces into advantageous positions for them. However, from the west side, I think he'll have a bit more control on where he engages militia and how he can maintain some semblance formation on that bad terrain. Yeah, you know what? Now that I remember, uh, that northeast part of the river that last bridge that whole ridge line above it is pretty high and pretty dense forest like a pretty dense forest and you're not going to see them across the river cross like getting to you but that big loop that goes from like lima 10 down into like mike 11 and then back up towards the bridge that is like almost a straight down cliff like you can see all of it from you know that compound all the way on the east side of the mass border map border you can see that entire thing from across the river so yeah i don't think they're gonna go northeast i think i think you're right and i think these i think both sides both times they're probably going to attack from either the west or the north i think they're going to leave the east alone yeah i think it's very likely uh, the one advantage is that there is a very substantial cliff on the west side yeah. straight west of the that you have to push the up. Themselves. Yeah. Meaning they get funneled in, but I think it's better to get funneled in on some terrain that you can actually control and stage on than try to stage an assault while you could potentially come into the fire. Yeah, because I think it was one of the power plays. We were actually at Juliet 12. Like that was the part where you're supposed to defend. And I remember sitting like in Kilo 12, 9, 5. And being able to see the entire other side of that river on the east, so yeah, I'm 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 in agreement with you. I think they're going to go west and north, but we'll see. They're get, they're well, getting the other option is in. trying to split up, but again, that's very risky and bold. And it's really open on the south side of uh, Hotel uh, Hotel Thirteen too. Like that's an open field. It looks like Wolfgang's actually going to end up starting out at India 727. Yeah. India, the compound there. Everyone's moving in. I guess they're going to be getting a platoon brief. Same here. Platoon brief's going to start soon. All right. Yeah, we're going to get the platoon briefs and then uh, we'll be back to uh, let you know what's going on with them. Um, the fulcrum, you are going to be the stragglers, all right? So I want you guys to wait and make sure we have space. All right, everybody, come on in. Let's get the show on the road. Welcome. Welcome to, uh, well, I should be good. I should put my gun away. I'm sorry. All right. Let's try it again. Welcome, everyone, to uh, Squad Ops Operation Power Play Part 8. Jackal. I can't believe we're still fighting over this valley and these bad guys are still here, but here we are. Um, so we've been having some mixed successes uh, trying to eradicate these fools. They've been uh, shooting down our helicopters and whatnot with some very angry AA guns. Um, they seem to have set up a last hold position down in uh, Hotel 13. Here. You guys go ahead and open up your mount. Um, you can see the uh, FOB location where we expect it to be marked on your guys' map at Hotel 13. We know there's a large enemy presence there. They have all sorts of guns. They're ready to just shoot us up. 
within that area, somewhere within the blue circles on your maps that we've distributed earlier, there is a pair of AA guns that are chewing up our helicopters. We our, our main goal is to get the engineers to those AA guns and destroy them. The engineer squad is squad 5. Um, squad 1 is moving to a pre-planned position. He's going to provide cover fire and harassment fire from over across the valley, trying to draw them to the direction that we're not coming from. While the rest of the platoon moves to Delta 9, we're going to unload there, make a platoon line, and push across the uh, valley from that direction. Um, but basically, main goal is take over that five location, Hotel 13, and try to get, get control of the situation. Any questions? Yeah, I got a question. Shoot. What happens when uh, all the engineers die? Uh, if the engineers die, we're just going to hold our position there until we can get engineering reinforcements up here. So overall, the goal is still take control of that area, eliminate all the hostile contacts. As we uh, clear and hold, we're going to let the engineers move up and do their work, alright? So the goal is to keep the engineers safe and then work from there. I have a question. question Are both AA guns? In um, I just wanted to double check that uh, people can resupply off of FTL ammo bags. Yes, FTLs, you will be the only ones carrying ammo bags. If you are somehow a rifleman without being an FTL right now, just make sure you drop your bag. Your SL will work with you on that. Any other uh, questions? Oh, there's a couple I can't hear you guys. Yes. Uh, Rose, so do you want us just sticking here aren't and able then to on your command we're firing in that general direction? Do is uh, fusing seat. Sorry, command chatter for a second. Rose, go ahead again. The lats and hats are not able to destroy the AA guns. It has to be engineering. Yeah, the engineers have to, we have to confirm the guns are destroyed. We can't just fire a lad on it, we actually need the engineer up there to confirm that it's not functioning. Let's go ahead and uh, get loaded up, guys. We're good to go. Uh, engineers, I want you guys to hold uh, before getting in the trucks. Let everyone else in first. All right, as we go live, got the rest of the platoon brief going out. So, Atho, you caught it going to be doing a western push for the calf they're going to have uh wolfgang up here at yeah. india 716 yeah, providing yeah, cover fire across the river up. uh what's going on for militia how's they're setting up how are they setting up their defenses very straightforward um so i actually always enjoy how landlord's approaches uh, tactical challenges he's always very methodical very straightforward he overlaps fields of fires he thinks about sight lines and he's done exactly that. So I don't know if you can see the stronghold right now. I'm flying to it as fast as I can. Here you go. So right now, as you come in from the north side, you can see the impregnable aspect of it from the north. And he's perfectly aware of that. He doesn't need to have some actual point defense on the fortresses, on the buildings. He knows that the buildings themselves are plenty... Uh, are sufficient basically to provide good cover for his men and so he's completely disregarded the need for fortifications on them he has fortified the hills at its back because the best chance i believe for the canadians is to seize those spurs and get overwatch on those buildings as they clear it from the south side and now you can probably see the extensive amount of earthworks oh wow logs, yeah up on top of the mountain oh that cover both of those spurs Holy and shit. this actually provides him with an amount of layered defense, which I believe is going to be, it's, it's not going to be cleared. I, I don't think the Canadians are going to fare too well against this if um, uh, no. Alicia defends this properly. <laughs> no, <laughs> especially since they basically created a fu fatal funnel and put, it, put both Zeus guns in the same position and have Overwatch over both uh, Highlands. Really? Exactly. Good, smart play. Yeah, yeah, it's squad one. Go ahead and just uh, fire like one or two rounds. Try to get there. Uh, right yeah, now, is... Militia is uh, gotcha. setting yeah. up perfectly. It's going to be a good one, Menace. It's going to be a good one. We got Rose Dragon and Lawn Darts in command, so this is definitely going to be a fun operation to be a part of. Sorry you're missing out on it, bud. Got the rest of the Canadian forces getting up to their disembark point in uh, Delta 9. Militia looks like they're all set up with their defensive pushes. Wolfgang is in position. Can I get a 
feed on him from here. I can see their outlines and that is it. OWI, please fix outlines and admin cam. This is ridiculous. It's been over a year. Mm -hmm. You're really unfortunate. That was actually the best part of the streams. That's what yeah. eventually got me into the whole squad ups thing. I was so amazed by how it looked visually. I was drawn in. Yeah, this is can, much less it's, romantic. Yeah, you can. I mean, all of the outlines are well, not all of them. I I spoke too soon. Aidekin is the only one who doesn't have an outline. Out of all of the Canadian Armed Forces, Aidekin's the only one without an outline. Those outlines just make it so much because you can turn off all the names. You can turn off the arrows and you see, oh, there's blue people. Oh, there's red people. No, they got to make things difficult. Slowly I know it's, coming at each other. <laughs> I, I know it's it, it's low on their list, but it's high on mine. I want to provide good content. Oh, I got to turn the FPS counter off. Sorry about that, everyone. Ruining your view and your vision with my little FPS counter. One of these days will be better optimized and I can get more than 90 frames per second. I don't know if they're really going to see too much from this side. Talking about wolf gangs, they might see the defenses. Yeah, they they'll see the sandbags. At least on the south side. Yes, I believe so. Those but, are in plain sight, but being discreet wasn't the main concern, I believe. Looking awesome. Oh, squad five Someone shooting. Shooting at someone, or is that an ND? Yes, this, I think it's is, most likely you. this is a one life event. And let's go ahead and extend the line further south. Let's just try to make sure our guys are nice and spread out. I don't want all of us to get hit by one blast of the A gun. Interested to see how this falls out, you know, now that they are actually coming from the west and not pushing, you know, from the east. Well, from what I can hear, militia still isn't aware, but they're going to be, they're going to be getting eyes on them soon. It looks like Phil and I and his squad might be the first ones to see people. Possible. Squad may have a lot of faults, but one of them is definitely not how gorgeous this game looks. I totally agreed. Um, it's really unfortunate that the outlines aren't there just to complete the look. Yeah, just, just for y'all watching the game. Well, watching the stream, not watching the game. Well, I guess you're watching the stream that's watching the game. It's looking pretty solid over here. Not much contact. Nice terrain. It's so dense. I, I really think that uh, Rose Dragon needs to pull Wolfgang in. All right, so Phil has spotted the squad that is entirely there for purely diversion purposes, I'm assuming. The one that's north across the river. Ah. It's calling it out. 
Londor is focused on them, and meanwhile, I'm sure as you can see, the rest of the Canadian platoon is inching its way from the northwest. So very good call from Rose. That's a perfect red flag he's waving in front of their eyes. Ah, a little diversion. Yeah, I didn't think about it as a diversion. Because it might cause Lawn Darts to think that they're going to try to push the east. Well, he's still waiting for confirmation for the numbers, so I'm sure he's expecting it to be a diversion, especially since he knows that a northern attack is ill-advised. And there we go. <laughs> he's questioning it. Yeah, the Canadians still haven't called out any sightings of anybody. Suppression just came out from that northern element. Ooh. I don't think they see anything, but... I didn't hear it. I saw the tracers. It's aimed straight at the buildings. Oh, uh, okay. Even higher up, so they may see the helm fortifications. But again, I think it's purely for distraction. Copy that, too. Ada can call it out, Phil and I. Oh no, he's calling out uh, Eyeball's squad. Oh, that's not good. That squad would have really benefited from being unseen. Well, the issue is, is that they're closer to Phil and I and his squad. Squad four command. Well, I'm expecting he knows he's not supposed to hold that ground. He's going to be beating a retreat as he takes contact, slowing the Canadians down. Well, it's a really good position to find out if you're getting pushed from the west. Definitely. So Again, good call from Lundarts. I want you guys to go ahead and have your entire squad use up one full mag shooting at the objective, and then I want you to go ahead and scoot to the east. Earlier, he was actively asking his assailants to see if they can funnel uh, the Canadians on his east or west. He doesn't really want a, a northern assault because he can't control that that well. It works for him because it's easily defensible, but it's hard to control. They could flow differently than he expects. So Rose is having Wolfgang move through the east now. Maybe going to cross the bridge over there on the east side. Not really defended right now by <clears throat> militia forces. Just a fire team from Squad 3, and that's it. But actually, where Squad 3 is, someone could cross that bridge, and they would not even know it until they were up near that compound. Uh, right around Juliet 12 9. This is the part of the operation that always has me like sweaty before contact. <laughs> I mean, that's the same thing when you're an actual, when you're a rifleman or a or commander, that's the best part. Anticipation is always perfect. Ugh. It's either have I med, have I made the right bets? Did I put my chips on the right square? And then the feeling of elation when you catch something off guard or the desperation when you lose a full fire team due to ill judgment is really something. It's, it's sweaty palm. I mean, I'm sweating right now. Just th like my palms are sweaty. I'm not even playing. Just waiting for it to happen. Two, go ahead and continue to wrap and take that my We're taking contact here soon. Copy that too. Harden up. I want you to engage from there. Three and four and five. Let's try to see sneaky. One, support as best you can. So they definitely have called out Phil and I's position now. And Phil now just called out the platoon that is pushing from northwest. Militia is fully aware where they are. Awesome. Both sides know where they are. Okay, we don't have eyes on that from here. There it is. First shots. Two 
is engaged. Okay, get over here and set up with that machine gun. Get I don't have a machine gun. Oh. Copy that. Er Hold on, get me Two, if you start taking too much contact, let me know. Come to me. Where you at? Oh, they got eyes Seeing. on Steve -o. Okay, I need a bearing. He was once uh, surprised. 40, 142. 142 for me. I don't know where you are. Where'd you go? Oh, up in the top, top floor of the house. Okay. I that way I can see into the wheat field. It's not, he's not in oh, the wheat field, dude. That's why I said get some Where he is, there's a birch tree top Send it. Yeah, there's a birch tree and there's a big trees there? and there's behind the big tree. Uh, I think we got him on his fucking surprise. JK, Lowell. I don't see any slashes. <laughs> no, go ahead and engage. Uh, Alright, go ahead and make a lot of noise there. I want to try to make you the hard point. And we're gonna have everyone work around you. Copy. One, continue to support from. I have a feeling Aiken's gonna get knocked out. He's opening up. Opening himself mm. up. Phil now is getting the order to pull out of there. He's not going to be fighting that that much. He knows he's getting caught in the vice here. Good. Good call, Phil. Yeah, Commander is asking for him to bound backwards, which is suppressing, moving one element backwards. Then when backward is set and then suppresses for the element lagging behind. So he's going to be pretty safe doing so, I believe. I'm taking fire up to my east, to my east of south of two. Copy that, three. Yeah, from that's where we're engaged on. Three, assist two and try to... Yeah, Phil's, Phil's kind of, kind of surrounded go. right now. Copy Everything that. starts Copy popping right off. Yep. yep, this is where good distance truly shine. If they can safeguard their squads and... Get them back to safety. Copy that. Yeah, pull everyone back into that compound and then say, Good luck, Canada. <laughs> Battle of attrition. Jeez, Sven's squad, if they cross that road into the open, is going to get lit up by Jack, Scope Sergeant, and... Hi, Jack. Oh, they're moving that way. Oh, God. Contact's marked with white smoke. What was it, chain of command, by the way? Uh, chain of command's gonna go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Copy. See, this is what makes me sweat. W one wrong move, and you're out, out of round early, meaning you're hey, gonna wait an hour like this. Watching the actions. <laughs> or one wrong and you accidentally team kill. Oh, oh, sorry for pulling the camera down. I got smoke. I got smoke. East. Wolfgang's made it across the river. Looks like he's pushing further east. Two, your guys might be able to Good maneuvering from Phil now. He got out his entire squad out of there. Didn't take a single casualty. Some of his men are a bit injured. They don't have medics, remember, so that's costly. They can't get their health back. Yeah. <laughs> but not a single casualty. That was That's really good considering what was coming down on him. Yeah, we haven't even gotten a kill yet. Either side. Oh, nope. Canada just killed one. Uh, we just engaged right just now. as I said it. Scope shot and goes down. <laughs> some Sven squad. Jack's under hey, contact some contact. Here? Dorf boogie. We're all getting suppressed. Impacts by the rock. Oh, yeah. Impacts all around them. I think Jack is just stuck. He's getting lit up too. 
Yeah, oh, he knows he needs hit. to stay still. There's Fulcrum and Rose Dragon are still pushing further to the west. I guess they're going to try to get up along the map border and push west. This is one we've gone unnoticed, and we can possibly catch them with their pants down over here. All right, one, I want you to push as hard as you can. Just try to get some aggression from you. Squad two, command. Send it for two. How's it going out there? Are you surviving? All yeah, boys aren't quite ready yet to give up to that uh, ridge to the enemy. Right he wants to see if he can. Right, he wants to see if he can hold that for a bit uh, longer. Oh yeah, absolutely, hold it. He's got the high ground. Never give up the high ground. Unless you retreat to more high ground, which he has That's, done. He has no shortage of. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you look, he's got boogie, and then they pulled back from the high ground and then wrapped around, and now he's got Phil and I's guys coming to reinforce the uh, eastern flank of, you know, Oddball's side. So they've just, he, he's rotated his forces. Oddball has moved his forces up behind him so they can retreat back and then got reinforced from another squad. Perfect tactical movement. Perfection, exactly. But and as those guys get in a position, Oddball immediately pulls back. So great coordination. But the thing is, is now there's two squads on the west and only one squad out on the east. And Wolfgang's pushing up that way. There's only one yep, squad the out there on the west. You got another one moving in up between the two squads out on the west. And then another squad in the north coming straight south. It looks like he has Mango Fett also starting to look towards the west. I'd be putting all of his ducks in the same basket. <laughs> Still only got one kill for Canadians and nothing for militia. A lot of rounds going out and you can't resupply. Wolfgang's got his platoon moving right underneath uh, Karma Cut's squad out here. Oh, they're not going to see them unless they come up a little bit further. All right, so Londarts is calling uh, currently Wolfsgun Squad as terrible positioning. Because he knows exactly where that building is. It's been called out and he knows that if he gets an MG pointed at that building, they're not getting out again. Not oh, so unscathed. they know Wolfgang's there. They know Wolfgang's there and he's actually <laughs> saying that he's not scared of it and he's saying it's bad positioning. What a Chad move. <laughs> but he's right it is a bad because it's nothing but open field precisely yeah Yeah, you don't want to be pushing up this hill. Too many dips and crevices for people to hide in. A lot of pits and ravines. You don't want to push that hill. It's a bad hill to push, Wolfgang. Especially if you know enemies up there. Now it looks like we have two squads pushing to the west. That's correct. And militia is not going to pull back from this. They're going to hold this or die. 
Oh, they should. They got great that, positioning. Winston Ridge is perfection. <laughs> Oh, I didn't see Al Ball disconnect, and now he had to re-come back in. Five, I don't want you pushing through that contact. Have um, your guys fall back, push through a four. That's fine, hopefully. Usually oh, we have yeah. some very competent FTLs in the squad. Oh, he's either uh, got which... Dorf or Boogie. Oh, well, <laughs> then it's absolutely no issue. Or I should say Dorf or Boogie. Ooh, Revy is saying he's very uneasy because he's well aware he's the north part of the spur and he has basically 250 degrees of directions to watch for. And just as he says this, we can see Crispy yeah. and Edukin basically coming in in the pincer. <laughs> and Revy is therefore rightfully uneasy. But he's got backup. This plastic opens up maybe a little bit too early. Should have probably waited until people started pushing across to start firing. What I would have done. Now he's getting rounds impacting all around him. Command, this is 3RSL, one down. Copy that, 3. I want you to hold on that side of the road and wait for the rest of the platoon to push up. Edikin's got his squad pushing up even closer down here on the northeast side. Squad 4. Repeat last, please. Uh, 4, can you push south, clear out any contact south of you, and try to envelop them? Ooh, All right, squad good. three is getting whittled down, including DSL. Copy that. One, are you able to clear up that contact to your south? We could try, but they got a big terrain advantage on us. All right, then one, just keep them, keep their heads down, make sure they don't reinforce. Kill count: five for militia and uh, four two, for Canada. Push point proper, clear it as best you can. Grenades coming in onto the compound. Ooh, down goes Coops from a grenade from Gully. Could it be that Lord Darts overestimated how good those northern defenses were? Yeah, and Gally, Gally gets another with his gun. Starting to clear out the objective. Yeah, that's the danger. Russell Shackelford is inside the compound on the north side, along with Oop, Beta can take some shots. We got to clear out those busted down warehouses. Good luck. It's like a little hiding nest of everywhere. It's like a well, small version of Fallujah. Of his, uh, that's where the positioning of his uh, AA gun is so good. It's in the open, it's not in the buildings. At this point, they could even withdraw from the buildings move back to the Spurs, and they still have a commanding view of the AA guns. Correct. Uh, one Pump Man, yes. Karma is playing tonight. Two or three, have you guys identified any of the AA guns? Militia's last stand on the Ridge West. Squad 5 just lost his sail, and the STL just assured his commander they will not leave the ridge. They're still holding. Yeah, they're, they're getting pretty... Half is... The Canadians are taking their time, clearing them out before they push across the road. Which is impressive. Well done on that part.
We're gonna start pushing the compound even further with uh, one Rather Wolfgang. So I'm impressed by this. Canadians have really embodied just force by movement. They haven't stopped. And just, just a full got stuck press. in there. I might eat my words and have to review my statement about this place being impregnable. Well, they haven't made it to the sandbags yet, so it could be impenetrable. Yeah, the layer defense itself is insane on its own. Yeah. If if the militia stays within their sandbags and doesn't let anyone push their flanks, I think they're gonna they're gonna have an easy time of clearing people out trying to go for these AA guns. I think their only weak point right now is towards the west. North and the east, I mean they gotta cross a road where there's multiple defenses set up already. Hell, they haven't even started pushing the uh, the broken down factories, the bombed out factories. If they can, they should just bypass them as best as possible. But it is just down to Killer J and Revy. There's one guy in there. He's hit. Just down to Revy. Oh, there he is. So this is where I'm disappointed a tiny bit, is that the hill should have been supporting the buildings, just locking down lanes of movement, making sure that the entry points are covered, for example those big collapsed parts of the wall, and the hill should just have been suppressing that off principle, but they haven't been doing that, which has cost Revy his squad, I think. This guy just unloaded an entire mag towards Chanka, <laughs> and now he just got taken down by a frag. <clears throat> just went full send with his ammo bag. Still got karma up here on this hill. This is turning out to a hell of a firefight. Sitting at 16 kills for Militia and 15 for the Canadians. Alright, the spur is starting to engage the buildings, so now they're fully aware of what it comes down to. They have to take out those heights, and that's where the real game is. The buildings were just a, a bump on the roads. Oh yeah. And we got Canadian forces starting to push from the west down towards these west side uh, sandbag defenses. No one's pushing the high ground on the east side where Karma has really held everyone out. Well then. He's really got, you know, Wolfgang's squad pinned down. As Rose Dragon says, leave the buildings alone, let's push out the heights. Good luck with that, because the defenses there are insane. I mean, they're they're really gonna have to they're really gonna have to push the map border just to take out these defensives on either side of the AA guns. Yep, that's again why the placement of those AA guns is so good. They don't have to hold them. They don't. They just hold yeah. the heights. They're out. And have yeah. many... They're they're out in the open. All they have to do Such is just wait for them to go to it. Power. Like, it's like in uh, Jurassic Park when they just put the goat out in the middle of a field tied up, <laughs> waiting for the T-Rex to come. Exactly. At 
Best case scenario, it's a bait. Worst case, they have every single thing pointed at it. Well, the thing that really makes it difficult is two engineers for one engineer has to run out in the open and play C4 on it to destroy it. That's kind of mean. <laughs> Do they have any um, fire support? Smoke barrages? No, or there's no support on either side. Yeah, you ha it has to be taken out by an engineer. Looks like Wolfgang's going to pull further back to the east. Maybe he's going to try to do a, a push up the hill, but he's got Frost and don't get shot all the way out here on the east. I think he's going to catch them out in the open. I have a feeling Karma Cut set that one up perfectly. Because don't get shots in AR. I want to see oh, oh he yeah. might catch him he might catch him now oh look the other way frost oh no don't get shots pulling off oh no they could that was oh that no was, <laughs> unlucky that's really anticlimactic oh that's an oof that's an oof for the night yeah they got their backs turned to like a great flank Wait, someone saw him. Maybe Frost is going to turn back around. No, Frost is still looking the wrong way. And so is Don't Get Shot as Wolfgang pulls across the street. While Don't Get Shot and Frost are running the other way. They don't know. Or maybe they did know and got called called back. Not in on those commands. They may have, getting call, may have gotten called back saying, hey, there's a large force crossing and you can't take them out. Come back here and we'll fight together. Yep, I'm not surprised. Uh, I think they're they're both consolidating. The, the Canadians have no incentive to push right now. They don't have everything yet in position. Well, yeah, but they're, in they're five pinned, minutes. Yeah, they're that's pinned down change. in that. Uh, they're pinned down in the buildings. They can't leave the buildings. Bondart's defensive positions were just too powerful. Us, I think we'll be pretty good up here. Yeah, Karmakut is very intent on making sure those Canadians stay in there. He's watching every single exit. Wait, is Dorf still alive? Get the hell out. <laughs> Dorf is still alive. I thought he was in an admin cam. Did they just roll over him and not spot him? I, I think so. I think he just laid and just was like, you know what? I'm just going to let these people walk past me. All right. That's that's a cool head on his shoulders. That's a Blackbeard move. Just let him walk past you and then shoot him in the back. <laughs> And yes, that is an honorable thing to do because if you don't check your corners, you deserve to get shot in the back. Agreed. 100%. Oh, Ooh. and Wolfscan squad now has the drop on the hill. They have the height even. Hey, Look at yeah, this. They do. Stuck here, the Good positioning. Ground. And there's confusion in the militia command net as they're struggling to figure out where those contacts are coming from, trying to reorganize, point the other way. This is really well executed by Wolfgang. Got the drop on them. Yeah, it was definitely lucky as we're sitting at 26 kills for militia and 19 for Canada. 20 for Canada. Down goes Wolfgang. Ah, 
may have bitten more than he could chew. Yeah, there's only four left. He's got Chanka still up there, so there's still hope. Oh, and and deer. Is that a Bartok still sitting in wait? Oh, sneaky little position there, Bartok. Waiting for this guy to pop out. Does he, he, how does he not? Oh, he just... Oh, he was in bad position. Oh, he tried. He tried to get someone. Just missed. This defense is that Londor set up is just perfect. He's just dwindling them down one at a time. Using the terrain to his advantage, which Absolutely. is the best way to defend. Knocking out the command structure, dwindling them down one at a time. Couldn't have gone any Making better sure for that him. Making sure they can't use his own uh, defenses against him too. Yeah. Hopefully the claw will be happy after this, uh, these two rounds. Ooh, Londo just went down. <gasps> Where, wait, where was he? He was on the highest point of that hill being flanked by uh, Wolfgang. And uh... he was expecting a fire team on his southeast. It was actually more of a squad with Wolfgang. A reduced squad, granted. Gotcha, yeah. And he wasn't too careful. Got his head uh, shot off. Does anybody know if you managed to destroy the... Oof. But the command structure is in no way impacted. Uh, militia is well aware of the plan. They're sticking to it. They're sticking to those hills. And I think if they maintain those crossfires in the defensive position, they, they're they going to pull that one out. Yeah, I have a feeling they're going to be able to complete their mission this time. Bondarts did a very well job of moving his people around. I would have loved to have been on this operation with him. Bet you it was mm -hmm. fun. Likewise. Because <laughs> that's the other part, honestly, of the commander's job. Actually, the main part, in my opinion, is that, yes, they have to formulate some proper strategies and tactics. But in the end, they're just running an uh, interesting experience for the platoons. And that should be the main concern. And Landort always bears that in mind, tries to avoid long maneuvering even though tactically his style he's just going to try to get his guys uh, in a cool fun situation they can deal with yeah there's no point in doing this if you're not having fun i mean it's fun to win but if you win by like steamrolling someone is it really fun okay, now he's saying it like an no. <laughs> it's fun for one side and we do have some operations which try to alternate that give uh, one side a lot of toys and the fun things and they basically wait on the other and then you alternate, so each side gets to experience overwhelming firepower, which is fun. But this op is designed to be a challenge for both sides. It is, honestly. It looks very fun. Squad 4, are you engaging in this compound in Gold 13? Negative, that's the enemy engaging us, I believe. Cop. Only three left of Wolfgang's squad. Yeah. Proper positioning is one thing that they definitely had, but numbers are still crucial, and he was trying to engage two full squads here with his reduced squad. Not a good engagement. There's, there's, uh, there's enemy up there. Yeah, my medic and, uh, squad two are... Chanka's gone full send. Let's just push up here and try to clear out these sandbags. And there we go. Yep. Down to one. Yep. Twix? That was clinical. <laughs> I think that's his name, the medic? Twix? 
Good luck, buddy. I have faith in you. You're gonna kill them all. Maybe not. That Swan and Appa is the only ones left from this western side push, so it's down to everyone inside the compound, basically. You're gonna have to cross that road and get into that uh crossfire of each <laughs> of each side. You're gonna have to welcoming go arms of those purrs. <laughs> yep. Copy, we're both, uh, Just pretend it's a hug. A violent <laughs> hug. A mean hug. Very violent. Hot rounds coming at you kind of hug. I gotta say, really impressive the defense on the west side. Um, militia just held on to that, like bulldogs. They made them bleed for every single rock. Oh yeah, and and Rose did a fantastic job of maneuvering everybody. Also, it's just he the positioning that Lawn Darts had just was strong. I mean, there was really not a lot that Lawn that uh, Rose Dragon could have done. I mean. Rose Dragon had a solid, awesome plan, and he 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 executed it flawlessly. Yep, I agree entirely. Especially when you look at what happened on the west, he managed to concentrate more force, more firepower. He saw the chance, took it, because he definitely had the superiority on the west side, and yet it wasn't enough. The terrain yeah. just was too much. Absolutely, it's just the terrain just was working again. The terrain, this whole terrain is working against the Canadian forces. It's uphill. And once you get uphill, you can have defenses on two sides, you know, that are even more uphill than the uphill that you just went up. Mm -hmm. A literal uphill battle. Yeah. Dorf is still alive. I don't know how he's doing. Right now he's hiding well, in the he's bush. Safe, I mean, he just rejoined his forces. Yeah. But he... he He's just sitting in a bush. And then we have our resident Finn here, Appa, laying down in the bushes, waiting patiently. He knows roughly where Dorf is, and he definitely has the patience to wait him out. Papa caught it. Like, I'm dead. I'm going to throw a grenade at him. I wonder if that was Dorf's grenade. Sitting I at, think he was the only one close enough. Sitting at 38 kills for a militia and 24 for Canada. They still need to take out two anti-aircraft guns. Everyone who's left is inside this compound. Everyone on the militia side is up high, looking down upon them. Yep, I don't see this going any other way than um, Valiant Sortie ending in bloodshed. Yeah, there's no, there's only seven Canadian forces. They just need to they just need to YOLO across the street. <laughs> just do it. That'd definitely be entertaining. Okay, they were and someone just called out. <laughs> that is a lot of guns that are still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Martin. <laughs> yes, and Martin, they've you're retaken, correct. <laughs> they've retaken even the buildings. Just pushed them back. Oh, yeah. Frost and... Uh, oh, no. They're pushing it. Karma's pushing people like, hey, go clear out those buildings. See, this is what I mean. This is more fun, right? Technically, it makes more sense to weigh them out, but I mean, yeah. who wants to do that? Let's go clear Let's this see out. If we can push them back. Let's add insult to injury. <laughs> it's not even insult to injury. It's like, oh, my guys have been sitting around. Let's 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 give them some fun. Down to three Canadian forces: Kuzmo, Stravinsky, and Woods.
Ooh. Ravinsky. What are you? All right, down to woods. I don't know what the hell just happened. He was looking at him. Didn't shoot, didn't kill anyone. Just looking at him. Hopefully he's not having mouse trouble. The last guy who's alive is an engineer, so we could see a GG if he gets those guns down somehow. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, you know he really stretching it, putting it out of the fire. At never the last know. Second. You never know. Crazier things have happened. Oh, yeah. And crazier things did not happen this time. <laughs> Pretty sure that's oh nope Scottish chaps still up oh and Martin oh I'm 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 just jumping the gun tonight look at that that's why we need the outlines yes it's really hard to figure it out uh, amongst the swarm of dead players yeah killing me Come on Come on OWI you're killing me here. Scottish is always fun to follow uh, Such as a, a last man. I know, I know. I, I wept. Love his commentary. Shot on Frost. Scottish got three, one from behind. And where's Martin? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, yep. Martin. Last man. Okay. We're good. Now it's last man. Holy fucking. Holy macaroni, man. Is it just me? Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> oh nice. So I'm gonna. Everyone's gonna watch me embarrass myself. Lovely. Oh, he's right there. Oh. Allah. Ah. Come on. Martin versus Dwarf. Come get me. Oh, come on, come on. Peek it in the corner. Peek it in the... I dare you. Oh, you cheeky bastard. Ah! Oh, and they traded. <laughs> oh, they traded. Unlucky dwarf. Unlucky. And we have it. GG for round one of Operation Power Play Part 8. We're going to take a quick break, and when we be back, we will have round two. Uh, Canadian Armed Forces. Platoon Brief. There's lots of room here. And uh, we'll be back in a second. No one cares. <laughs> nope. Drop. Rock. 
nice boulder. <laughs> That's my star. Well done the first round. Good shooting. Uh, this time we need to attack the position that is in Hotel 13. It's known as the, the old fort. Our mission is to secure the old fort and to destroy the two AA guns. In order to destroy those guns, we can't dig them down with shovels for some uh, reason. They're special AA guns. We need to get our engineer squad, karma squad, onto the AA guns so they can use their charges to blow those up. In order to achieve our mission, we'll be leaving main heading west. If you guys open your maps, approximate formation is going to be Obol squad on point, the tank marker. Uh, his eastern flank will be taken by squad two, Revy squad. We're going to have our engineers, a bit like quarterbacks, sitting back in the pocket, the BTR marker, uh, traveling behind the platoon, providing rear security. Uh, once we get a um, better idea of their positioning, the engineer squad will either uh, move uh, to attack the point on you guys see my six mark you can't the reinforcement marker to the northeast or we'll rotate round and hit them from the northwest rest of obol squad well, supporting him pushing uh, on the point will be frost and then out uh, to the far western flank will be phil squad now the terrain obviously changes there's open ground so i'll leave it up to your squad leaders and fire team leaders to decide what best of uh, terrain to move through obviously as much cover as possible once we get up near the point though it's important that we uh, suppress the move because there is open ground there's just no other way we can cross it there's no point trying to crawl we'll be sneaky we'll just put a lot of bullets onto the militia positions make them uh, keep their heads down and then we'll move on to them rinse and repeat for the whole way into the cap all right any questions, guys? No, nope. sir. Sounds good. Negative, guys. Uh, sir. Good luck, Have man. fun, guys. Squad leaders, break them out. Yeah, no need to panic on flights. Let's just get uh, nice and orderly. Oddball. All right, there you go. We got uh, Lawn Dart's plan. At least one squad's going far left, and we are live with round two of like Operation team. Power Play, part eight. Eight. Good just squad. lord. We Claw is still not happy. I think we're going to see a 9. I think we're going to go all the way to 10. I'm happy. I love this map. Oh, this the more map we play on awesome. it, the happiest am I. Oh, this, this is awesome. I can't wait till it opens up into the uh, SDK and let our mod dev team just run rampant on it. Yeah. Add fortifications, supply lines, oh. camps, trenches, power lines, because whole point of power play i think it's based on one of our ops where you basically have to destroy power line uh isn't that uh... is that power surge that's power surge yeah that's I'm power actually... surge on balea oh, yeah that's power one of surge on balea. i hate that op i love it <laughs> i hate that i hate attacking I those power lines it's not. So there's one A gun, the other, what did I tell you it was? Wait, where the hell? Oh, it's right they next to a bush. bush. Yeah, that's why I wasn't too happy sneaky, seeing them there. Sneaky, one's next to a building and the other one's damn near in a bush. Sneaky, sneaky. Looks like a fire team elements pushing out to the east, well, southeast. The rest of the... Blah, 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 blah. The rest of the Canadian forces looks like actually all of them are moving to the west. At least two squads moving west, one moving east, and one going straight up the gut. So he's maybe not concentrating his forces in the punch. He maybe wants to pull a, an encirclement. Yeah, I mean, I I would definitely try to encircle them. I wouldn't try to put all uh, everything into one direction. Wow. I usually go for the other school. <laughs> I always start from the principle that if you manage to concentrate your forces somewhere, you're going to have superiority. At the same time, you're exposing yourself to a flank. Yeah. Uh, we got a... Fulcrum's pushed out really far to the east. Like, really far. Like, I think he's going to push past the Canadian forces. Which works if he actually manages to get himself in a position that's completely overlooked. Yes. He will be a knife in the Canadian back. Exactly. 
Oh God. He might end up just walking up behind everyone else if he just lets them walk past them. The way they're going now, if Fulcrum just doesn't open fire and lets them walk past, it's going to be a hard beautiful cross. spot. Obviously, Revy is 2IC, then we'll just go in squad lead order 1 through 5. Let's see. Requires a cool head and an FTL and then. Fire discipline. And then the squads. Yep, fire discipline. Uh, G police, yes, that is a gaggle. That looks like a. Oh, someone's firing off the AA gun. Yes, that is a gaggle. It looks like a flock of geese. If you did not know, a flock of geese is called a gaggle. <laughs> I actually did not know that. Oh, and that squad is moving west, completely overlooking the heights. Fulcrum is home free. I hope, you know, I, I know I'm following the Canadian forces in blue and militias in red. But just for the fun of my viewing pleasure, I hope he holds off and he comes up behind him and just kills them all. Well, he's not here on the defensive assignments. Uh, Rose sent him, well, on the, he's here on the defensive assignments. Rose sent him to watch that flank. But when Rose realizes that nothing's coming its way and they just bypassed him, he then becomes a flanking squad, and he's going to be extremely dangerous. Oh, yeah. I think they're firing off the AA guns for immersion. Which is fine. It does sound absolutely gorgeous. Deep, bassy sound. Oh, yeah. I mean, they know where the AA guns are. It's not like it's a hidden secret. Don't squish me up against the road. I will have to say, I was yeah, sitting was on... God, what map was it? Talil outskirts one time, waiting for an op to start. And there was a... I was on one side, there was a, someone in one of the Zeus guns on the opposite side of the map, firing it off. And just the ambiance was just like, oh, this is so cool. Yeah, the sound carries very well now in squad. It oh, distorts yeah. the and echoes. In very realistic fashion, you do feel the distance and the sound booming of the air and the surfaces and the valley. Whoever their sound engineer for this game was deserves Brilliant. all the money. And whoever whoever uh, decided to use the individual that made their soundtrack should also be. They should. Those two people should be running AW, OWI. <laughs> well, they do definitely have the creative talents. They they really know what they're doing. They, well, have no, they just make good decisions. Yeah. Well, Sergeant Jackson's getting close to one pump man. Oh, spotted. Commandant going wild on militia side. Ralt, what are you doing? Ralt, go back. You're not magical in this game. Can't heal. Two's got eyes on and Fulcrum is on the prowl. He's moving hard. And with those first few shots, he knows exactly where they are now. By sound. Oh yeah, I, I don't think Eyeball even know. I don't think Eyeball even knows that this squad, Sven squad's on their side. They know now as they start pushing in though. Ah, that's a bit early. They could have capitalized on the stealth a bit. Down goes Geralt. Netflix series is over. No more Witcher. It's done. Calling it here. Is Fulcrum moving to flank him yet? Ah, uh, he's holding off on the height still. I mean, that's a full platoon, that's 50 men down there. He'll only be able to capitalize on his position if he's able to defeat squads in detail. He can't just push in on them while they're so bunched up. Oh, just keep eyes on him. Yeah, he's keeping tabs, definitely. Waiting, biding his time. Oh, 
Oh, Sling Slasher, get caught unlucky by 80 plus one. Suggestions, uh, five scoots further west, four fills a gap between five two. How's that? Yeah, we're doing that. We're doing that. Oh, no, so we, five has contact to his west, though, so we need to make sure we're putting uh, yeah, relationship five, 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 five on that. Fox went India 12, two, three. India 12, Roger. Mr. Grooves, tune in anytime you want. All right, Revy, that's to your south. Man, but play in the Revy operations. You have contact Ten times better than watching them. Southeast. Oh, eyeballs moving into Sven. Unfuck the situation there, squad lead. Frost, you got that hole plugged between five and three, or five and two. Between five and two, yes, I am. I do. Okay, Fulcrum isn't moving down the low ground, which is actually a good call. He doesn't want to flank downwards, he wants to flank along oh, the ridge line. And so he's just moving to the house. Fucking already ran out of energy. And then he's gonna st Oh, they're spotted. Sven's pulling back Damn as it. eyeballs squad yeah, pulls we're towards him. Fulcrum just missed his chance. He was spotted by uh, Tinkerbell, I believe. Alright, Squad 4, you able to slide west of 1 and follow 5? I'm gonna move up to the trench. Frost, can you slide west and follow 5? I can slide west following 5. Thank you. Oh, Fulcrum. Is Londard's calling everyone back? Uh, across this road, this is to the south of five. We're going to need a lot of bases of fire set up. So for once you get in position to uh, your west, you need to suppress hotel. Tagging Sven squad as they go up the hill. Same for you three. If you can suppress, get set. And when you're set, five, you're going to cross your spot. That's first. Yeah. Take an accurate fire from uh, Hotel 13, heading north between 2 and 1. Roger. The only reason I'm saying that is because my guys uh, at 1 position are pulling off between 1 and 5. Roger. Command, this is one from my initial glass. It does appear as though a direct north. And now the staring contest begins. Be yep. Because so like Londards has to find a way up there. And that direct approach isn't very appealing or attractive due to the barren landscape that lies before him. And then Militia has absolutely no incentive to move off. They have the best terrain possible. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, well, Fulcrum didn't pull all the way back. He's still got so some Eastern. Going direct Southwest does not look favorable. Going direct South from like a little bit West of five, like direct North to South along that grid line looks to be the best over. Understood, understood. Squad four, what's your progress? Yeah, Canada just brought to a standstill the terrain. Cross. I need you to move west. You haven't moved. West to where squad five is. Roger, moving the whole squad west. Thank you. Carl, if you can hold there and just be a base to fire while five gets across. We're gonna have yeah, to I'm pinned by a position. saw in the second floor. I can't peek this angle. This is not a. Uh, this is not ideal. Can I get um, any other squad to give me base of fire onto the hills directly south of me? All right. All right, everyone break. All right, to us guys in your squads to be quiet. These comms are terrible. Four, I need you pushing west at five's position, not crossing the road. Frost. Yes, sir. Frost, go west to five. Roger, I'm going west. You, you, you can't. Sorry, I can 
So you're running out in the open and about to be killed. Roger. I just, I honestly, I realize that's too late, but the rest of my squad is moving towards five. Have you noticed Rose Dragon right. is doing Once the ambience himself? Yep. I did notice that. We're going for it already. We got base. Right, Dedication right. to the narrative. I like that. Especially since they hey, built his own. Uh, <laughs> he's just AA swinging it around, firing it. <laughs> he's just having fun. <laughs> What's going on, um, Canadian side? Have they. Uh, trying to regather comms, reposition people, so that others can get some supporting, supporting fire. And they're going to try to push. I think direct south. Even though Stevo and who is this? So close. Oh, never mind. Three people, two people down. Great assault. The great Gandhi. Someone killed Gandhi, and Stevo just go down. Eyeball and Dorf and Boogie are pushing up south from the mountains. So I just um, commanded session one uh, with Sven as an like SL in the, for the platoon, and he's not one to give ground. So his position Understood. up on the hill here, on which the Canadians are about to smash themselves into. Oh, and he shouldn't give ground. ground. Look what he's doing. Look what he's doing. <laughs> Good on him. I don't know about you, but the Canadians seem very disarticulated to me. Yes. They, they lost that cohesion, that momentum that they had earlier, where they were just packing themselves into an almost an attack card in Napoleonic style. Yes. It happens. Probably a lot of, you know, chatter going on in their ears and trying to hear everything that's going on. It happens. Even to the best. But and, and Sven is just getting so little pushback from the squad in front of him, he's pushing down the hill towards them. Oh yeah, I mean, it, it, this is an uphill battle. And it gets tough, it gets frustrating, but everyone's trying to, you know, do their job. It happens. It's a video game. It's all good. They'll figure it out. It's... 10 kills militia, 5 kills Canadian. Canada. Canadian. Canada. It's, everything's good. Hold what you got. Reposition your people. And attack. All good. Yeah, I mean, they definitely have the positioning to do something with it. They are not spread to for all the four wins. Um, but yeah, yeah. Such, so much ground to cover and so little options in terms of safe approaches. Next, if you will cover, over. Again, set up the cover. I think Oddball pushed, got pushed a little bit too early. Wasn't a lot of uh, defensive forces to cover his push in place. Yeah. The Canadians definitely have fire superiority, and that's their main advantage. You need to use it to make sure that whenever the squad is maneuvering, Two squads at least are suppressing. Two, just moving in about beating down militia over. into submission. Yeah. Making sure they don't put up their heads and fire back. Copy. Yeah. And now they, the cohesion is back. People are moving. People are communicating. And they're pushing. Yeah, I see that. One second. Very pleasing right, visually. One, yeah. One second. That's all it takes. Okay. Step off. Recovery. Exactly, G Police. Hey, for the claw. Check out the 
This is for squads one, four, and three. Contact South for command quite close. Golf 12, two, three. Golf 12, two, three. I'll do that. Okay, two's getting ready to move. Break. Squad three. Infantry crossing the road to your northeast. Golf 12, one, eight. Phil, two, one, one good cross. Yeah, command, we're engaging to our east southeast right now. Negative. Your north northeast. Not your east, your northeast. Got infantry flanking you from your north northeast. Copy, copy northeast. Alright, so Sven is letting himself be hammered down by super numbers. He's putting back gradually towards the hill. Good move. Alternatively, I could push the objective. He has got. He does have some. Oh, he's almost hurt or almost dead. Yeah, he's he's been doing some pretty good fire movement. Uh, they can't forget that there's still the high ground that they have to go against. And looking at the east side, they're going to have a nice little firefight. We still have contact that's between the four and three south of command. Roger, my guys are aware. Oh, yeah. The oddball has managed to push up, and he now has the ridge in his advantage. He can use that to maneuver along uh, the compound. Yeah, Frost is going full force or into team here to fire team along a wall. Otherwise, we're going to be following you at 50 meters. Roger, I was about to ask three, are there contacts between me and you? Between three yes, and four? Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Okay, Roger. Oh, Sven goes down. Now. Not really good with the okay. amount of people that he has. Just grouped up with him. He got Gold Sauce, One Pump Man, and that swan. Basically, you're right next to him. Revy, progress on reinforcing between squad three and four. You know, the other thing that I was just thinking about, firing off that Zeus cannon creates a distraction, like a sound distraction. <laughs> That's fair. Especially if Fulcrum starts opening up on the uh, A side, he'll have some uh, sound disturbance to cover his shots. It's, it's like uh, American football. You know, when you have... A, or actually, no, even in football, you know, over there in Europe, it's just the, the loud crowd makes it... You know, it, it screws with your head. It's mental. It's a mental breakdown. Yeah, actually, actually all of the um, all of the football tournaments, well, soccer for you guys, but I'll call it football out of respect for myself. No, it's, it's um, football. I agree with you. you play it with your foot. You're not playing with your sock. There's a match away and home. And statistically, it's just so obvious that away matches are so much harder. Score less goals and you win less. Yeah, it's the same thing in American football. Why did America call it soccer? I don't get it. I don't know either. For us, you're end Hag. Doesn't make sense. Like we change the name of crepes to pancakes just because they're thicker. I mean, we do call thicker crepes pancakes. Uh, we do have the distinction. So we agree really? with you on that. Yeah. What? We don't oh. call thick crepes crepes. We call them pancakes. Oh. Because like, actual French crepes are like a millimeter thin. And they're like as wide as a plate. Oh, down goes Frost. Rusty Shackelford gets some shots in. Gonna start suppressing over top of that hill. I think they know that people are going that way. Just um, hold the ground that you have and wait for the rest of the platoon to join this up. Ooh, good grenade from whoever threw that. Look out, one hurt another. Rose Dragon with the ZUs. I think Rose Dragon is just having fun. I really like that. So, Lawn Darts has taken its time. But now, after poking and prodding at Militia, he has Squad sussed four, out three, three, where the weak spot was. And that's the northwest, where he gets some cover. He can push up the hill gradually. And now he has pitted Roger. four squads. Road, 
with one incoming now from the west against two. Yeah, but Owen Woods and the chorus are coming right up behind Sergeant Jackson and Oddball. This could get interesting. Oh, yeah. This Sergeant Jackson made from the passive and just give up Oddball. Oh, it's gonna do it. Let all, oh, he let Oddball know. It's one. Oh, those bushes. It's two. Jackson Ooh. just He's no longer the man who lies in a truck. He's a man who lies in a bush. Owen has no clue where that came from. Is... Yeah, they've made it inside the uh, bombed out factory. 81 and oddball next to Fisco. I'm not hearing any call out to that effect on militia. It may be me, but. Such an odd play from both sides. Yeah, it seems very um, hesitant. They're pushing forward in surges. If it doesn't work, they pull back and then. There's no consistent momentum, but it's interesting. It's a war of attrition. Yeah, it's like both sides is waiting for the other to make a move to call him out on it. Exactly. I like it. It's it's almost like trench warfare. Just see what happens. It's let attrition takes its course. Sitting at 15 kills for militia and 16 for Canada. This is one we've smoked. We're waiting for uh, smoke to develop. Roger. Correct, but the hard part hasn't really started yet for Canada. Nope. Once they walk that wall on the west side, that's when the hard part starts. Karma's gonna. They're all popping smoke, and then he's gonna push across the road. Right into enemy forces. Hopefully they, if they push. Do that, they could at least pull out uh, a strategic win right, if they take out their A guns. I don't think they really know exactly where the A guns are yet. Well, I think Rose Dragon has filled that part of the drop for them. He's been firing one for the past 30 minutes. Audio cue, but I'd rather have eyes on. I don't like going off of Wait, assumptions. It's to pinpoint exactly where it is in such a small area. Oh, good grenades landing into the mortar. Sorry, the AA pit. Sergeant Jackson's over here fighting for his life against Fulcrum. Ooh, grenade. Can he dodge it? Oh, he does. Oh, another grenade out. Oh, Sergeant Jackson freezes through that. Okay, command, I've got a fire team inside the compound. I'm taking the hill uh, west of the objective. Roger. Long Maybe darts he's... just putting himself in a dangerous position. Yeah, Sergeant Jackson is trying to clear out these buildings all by himself. He's the lone person left from Oddball squad. And it looks like Revy's got a nice western flank going to push down against uh martin and rose they've made it across the road on the west side too so good progress oh yeah good progress on Can canada's side a little discombobulated at the beginning but it worked out Ooh, yeah definitely. calm and collected Sitting at seven or twenty-four kills for Canada and seventeen for militia. Nice little turnaround for the Canadian forces. Ooh, lawn darts is right next to Rusty. Oh, oh no! 
Pulo to fire just earlier. He knows there's contact around. <gasps> oh, Rusty oh, saw him no. first. No. The cavalry became too late. Hugo was late. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. Very frustrating as command when you go down like this. Right yeah, because you're trying to get close into what's going on so your guys know you're there with them. And then to go down, it's like, shit. I'm not too worried for Canada. I don't think they... I don't think they are going to have too much trouble clearing the rest of those buildings. Nope. Since they're, they literally have a pincer on it now. Very well made. Well, and the other thing guns. is... Yeah, like you're saying, the AA gun's all the way on the west side, and most of Canada's forces... Are on the east. They're gonna have to fight through Canadian forces to get to their own AA guns. Well, they won't even have to fight through if they get their engineers on them. They'll just blow them up and then withdraw. That's what Alpha's doing now? Yeah, Alpha's gonna lay a charge. Right, fireworks. On the first one. I think he's an engineer. Let's Pull see. up the... Yes, he's an engineer. Why hasn't he placed the charge yet? What's he doing? What are you doing, Alpha? Talk to me. What's going on in your day? How are you doing? Oh, there he goes. Now he's going to start placing the charge. Guess he's going to check security first. She's a good call. He's going to... <laughs> he was going to pull out his... Cool kit to repair a vehicle. Now he's placing the charge. And he's getting out. 30 seconds. And boom. 30 seconds from now. Gotta watch the explosion. I love explosions. So beautiful in this game. Yeah, they got the trap in the middle and the smoke. And the tracer is just right. Don't know if it's accurate, but it sure as hell looks Commander, beautiful. Are <laughs> Webby, are you up? Hey, I'm up. Uh, I'm hearing there's contacts on the hill you were on last round, Karma. Uh, yeah, I copy. H13. One ZSU down. I understand. Okay. We gotta finish clearing the compound. We gotta clear the uh, east side of the compound and take out the guns. So we took out one gun, is that correct? Dragon desperately gun, yeah, asking his squads to pull back to the last gun. The, the thing is, they can't pull back to it. Either they push forward to it, but that drags them out of position and they'll get, they'll get surrounded. Okay, guys. Oh yeah, someone just tried to get into that building by Rose Dragon and just got wiped out. Only one left from it. Left a Scottish chap and Rose Dragon on this west side. I think Militia's going to try to pull back now. Sitting at 35 kills for Canada, 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 and 22 for militia. I think. Oh, down goes command for militia forces. I think Canada is going to pull this one out. Yeah, with large margin too. They were methodical, just didn't take too many losses. They took their time. And it's unfair of me to call it hesitant, because it was just purely them inching forward, seeing what gives and what doesn't, where are they actually encountering tangible resistance, and where they can try to push in, see if they can push the envelope ever further and further. Yeah, there was a little bit of confusion when once they got to uh, the compound, but then they got, were able to figure everything out, and there is nothing keeping Canada from... Taking out this last ZSU position. Yep, they're smoking Nothing. probably for one brave engineer to crawl through it. Copy. We're slowly making uh, progress, but I think we are taking fire from our east up on the opposite hill. Okay. I mean, we're sitting at what? Three militia forces left, and that's it? Yes, Alamoing in that copse of trees at the bottom of the hill. Yeah, the two there, and then the one inside the other uh, broken down shed, barn, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. 
unless there's a miracle i'm gonna say uh good job canada yeah very good job how you doing chance uh no i don't remember you telling me barton made you do the sot thing talking about sot basic everyone has to go through uh sot basic it's right here by my Bravo team, right in front of me. What, what, where's your Bravo team? Is that you? Is yeah, that sign you? up on the calendar. It's me. It's me. It's get me. in when you can. Right in front of me. Yep, if you're unlucky enough, you might get me as an instructor. Can you smoke it up? Stand by. I wouldn't say I'm lucky. Oh, come on. No. I'm pretty sure you're very thorough. Get the good yeah, information out. I can, yeah, and oh, due to that, that can be a pain in the ass. Me. And the yeah, accent throws people off. Hey, from... What accent? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. It goes right to my heart. Okay, so we're gonna hold here and... I noticed a little bit. What? Are you from uh, France? France? Yeah, France. Yes, yeah, France. France. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, don't, I don't notice it that much. It's not that bad. Thanks. <laughs> but I, th I think I'm a little luckier than everyone else. I mean, I got family and still in Norway, so the accent is definitely yeah, tougher hearing that. They can't even pronounce my first name. They're coming in, so don't shoot them, Hibbick. <laughs> we do have a couple of Norwegians and Swedish uh, squad ops. Yeah, they they, they kind of pronounce it right. And they're placing C4 on the last ZSU position. Yeah, we've got Raggy, who's half Norwegian, but lives in Iceland. We've got... William. Edikin. He's a Norwegian. I didn't know that about Edikin. Yep. William is actually serving in the Norwegian army. Oh, I didn't know that. And, uh... Who else? Someone else is from Scandinavia. And ZSU down. Up as Finnish, but he Bartok. hates being Scandinavian. They're not Scandinavian. <laughs> yep, Bartok. He's he's Norwegian. And then Bartok, yeah, our resident lat sniper. Yes. The bait of all armored assets and soft skins vehicle. The uh, south, southeast hill. Uh, three, four. Can you maneuver? Ooh, Lazo's making a hard push. Is there any ground you can move through to your southeast? Uh, Conrad goes down. Mandrake's, I think, gonna go for Laz Lazo. Lazo. Okay, well, we're gonna three four. Just leave a, a fire team element on that hill. Ooh, so nice three, grenade three, under way. toss. Mandrake's gonna go back in. Hey, hey, three, 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 four. You need to clear this box. Long building right here. <laughs> All right, that's a quite an endeavor being asked of them by the claw. Failure is not an option. The claw. There's one more barn we need to clear. The hotel three. Hey, it's, it's down to Luzu, right? Barn. He's the last one alive. For a second. Said his name. Now he's dead. And there we go. GG. Round two of Operation Power Play Part 8. Canada was able to get the job done and get their uh, get their mission accomplished. Yeah, it's me and uh, me and Ethel. Been here with you all night. Glad you all came out and enjoyed the show. Hope you all enjoyed it. Let's uh, go over some events in the calendar. Twenty second. Uh, which is tomorrow. We have a SOT advance at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time or Eastern Standard Time.